Number 36. What is the half-life for the first order decay of phosphorus 32? And then they give us a, a nuclear reaction where we have the phosphorus 32, atomic number 15, yields or breaks down into sulfur 3216 with an electron. That's the E minus. Now, they did tell us that the rate constant for the decay is 4.85 times 10 to the negative second uh, per day. That's a day to the minus one. Now, in this case, we just want to find out what is that half-life. And a half-life is always denoted as a T with a half. So anytime that you see a lowercase t with a little half at the, you know, at the, superscript, at the subscript, that's a half-life. A half-life is the amount of time it takes to break your substance into 50%. So it's easy to talk about it in terms of a pizza. If you have a, or maybe we'll do this, if you have a whole pizza and it takes me, hmm, it takes me literally 20 seconds to take the whole pizza and put half of it in my mouth and I only have half remaining. I have 100% and then in that 20 second time, I have 50% of the pizza remaining. The time it took to get to 50% of where I started, that's a half-life. So in this example, 20 seconds would be my half-life, my T-half, as we call it. But now let's just see how long it's going to take for this phosphorus to break down 50% into its products. Well, the thing here is that there's a couple of formulas for half-life. There's actually three of them that you probably have to memorize uh, for your tests or quizzes, depending on what order your reaction is. Now, in this case, they gave it, you know, they gave it away for us, right? They said that the phosphorus is going by first order decay. So as soon as you know that order, you're only using that one equation. So I'm just going to pull this up. Whee! The other half-life equations, T half equals concentration over T, uh, 2K, and then the other one, these go bye-bye because we already know that this is first order. So we're getting rid of all these. Pause the video if you need to, to write down the other half-lifes. And maybe with more problems, you'll see the other ones being used. But this one, bye bye So now, we just want to find out that half-life. T half is the half-life. It's always going to be, in this case, for first order, 0.693 divided by K. And K is the rate constant. Did they give us a rate constant? Yes, they did. They told us that the rate constant for that decay was 4.85 times 10 to the negative second. And then, you know, days to the minus one. That's just the unit of a first order rate constant. Now, just know that this number, 0.693, this is a constant value. It is coming from the ln of 2. But anyway, you could just memorize it as 0.693. And then, let's just solve. T half equals the 0.693 divided by 4.85 times 10 to the negative second. Let's plug it in and see what's going on. How long is it going to take for that phosphorus to decay? 0.693 divided by 4.85 second comma times 10 to the negative 2. No parentheses needed. Press enter. Whoa. Okay. So we get, um, I guess we'll say 14.3. But now the unit is, well, what is the unit? Days, minutes, years? The time and the unit that's found in the rate constant have to be the same. So in this case, since the rate constant was talking about days, even though it's day to the minus one, it's still day, this is 14.3 days. And that is your final answer. So. In perspective, if you had 100% of this phosphorus, it will take nearly two weeks, 14 days, to break down into sulfur. You'll have 50% of the sulfur and 50% of the phosphorus. And then it will break down another 50% from the 50%, so that's 25% in another 14 days. Um, but that's basically what half-lives are. You just keep on 
breaking it in half, breaking it in half, breaking it in half, and the time is the same amount of time. That's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in more questions. Uh, thanks so much for being here and for being part of the community. You guys rock. I'll see you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.